Hello everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Thanks so much for joining me today. I recently made a video where I was complaining about commercial patterns and the way they describe fabrics and how they give like specific names of fabrics that my students don't really know. Suggested fabrics, crepe, charmeuse, chalet, and lawn. Not helpful. Instead of just saying if the fabric is knitted or woven. And then of course, somebody commented saying, well, why don't you just teach them those types of fabrics? And I was like, well, yeah, you're right. I should. Okay. And, and you know, my classroom is big and busy and there's just never time. So I'm putting it into a video that hopefully helps you as well, because what I'm going to talk about today is what I see as the seven most commonly suggested fabrics from the pattern companies. So when you buy a store-bought pattern on the back of the envelope, there's going to be a list of suggested fabrics. So for example, this one, crepe de chine, chalet, charmeuse, rayon, cotton types, voile. And I see those same names on so many different kinds of patterns. Those are all woven fabrics. When a pattern is for knits, they generally just put a lightweight two-way stretch knit or four-way stretch knit. It just tells you it has to be a knit. And when it's a woven, for some reason, they go into all these different names of fabrics. So long story short, today I wanna to go through and describe and show you what those seven different fabrics are like, why you would choose one or the other over the other. So to help my students, I made this with my Cricut. <laughs> I just got about a four inch wide strip of seven different fabrics and they are the most commonly suggested one. And today I just wanna take you through and show you what those fabrics are like, the different characteristics of each, and help you to choose a fabric that's right for your sewing project. So first of all, it's important to understand that fabrics can be grouped in two different ways. First of all, according to their fiber content, like silk, cotton, linen, polyester, those are all fibers, and they can be made up into all sorts of different fabrics. The other way that you can categorize fabric is how it's constructed. So today we're just focusing on wovens. There's plain weave, twill weave, satin weave. There's so many things they can do with fabrics to create different effects, especially with synthetics. Really, anything you can do with a silk, you can do with a polyester. And I'm not gonna really go into that today, the difference between natural and synthetic fibers. That's a subject for a different video. But those two ways of categorizing are why most fabrics have two parts to their name. So take, for example, satin. Satin is not a fiber. It is a weave. It's a type of fabric. You can make silk satin, a polyester satin, acetate satin. You can even make it out of cotton, but then we call it sateen. So let's go through each of the fabrics in my little sampler here and talk about each one. So the first one on my sampler is a rayon chalet. And actually that's what my top is made out of today as well. It's a rayon chalet. And chalet is a lightweight and soft drapey fabric. It's quite commonly made from rayon viscose, but traditionally it was also made from a lightweight wool. A wool chalet is also beautiful. They're quite often printed with beautiful florals, but of course you can get a solid color as well but it's matte, meaning that it's not shiny at all, and it's opaque, meaning that it's not sheer or see-through. And because it's matte, it's often used as a daytime dress fabric. Daytime dresses, blouses, and skirts. It's soft and flowy and drapey. It's pretty easy to work with, and it's comfortable. It breathes and it's comfortable. And so it's a popular choice for casual or daytime clothing. Now, it's not as easy to care for as a polyester. When you wash it, it's going to need to be ironed. And even by the end of the day, my shirt is gonna look a little rumply and need to be ironed. But it really does feel wonderful against the skin, very nice and soft and drapey. So here's an example of a dress made out of chalet, and I'm sure you've seen dresses like this. You'll just recognize it everywhere, probably in your own closet. Okay, so now moving into more of the evening wear fabrics, the first one we'll look at is chiffon. Georgette and chiffon are so close. In fact, these two are so similar that I think I mislabeled them. <laughs> I think that this is actually the chiffon and this is the Georgette. So the Georgette is just a little heavier than the chiffon. They are both lightweight, sheer, flowy. They make beautiful dresses. So let's start with chiffon. It is even lighter weight and even more flowy than the Georgette. 
It's very sheer. It definitely needs a lining. And so here's an example of a chiffon dress. They're just lovely. Often you'll see them in bridesmaid dresses, prom dresses. Chiffon can also be made out of silk, polyester, or other synthetic fibers. It has a slightly rough texture, almost pebbly texture to it. And it also has a matte finish, so not shiny at all. Chiffon is very delicate and flowy, making it just perfect for use in evening wear, bridesmaid dresses. It's usually layered or gathered to create a flowy, romantic look. So Georgette is very similar to Chiffon, but as I say, it's just a little heavier, a little less sheer, and it also has that pebbly kind of texture. Both Chiffon and Georgette can be challenging to work with. They both fray a lot and they're just so delicate. When they're made out of polyester, they're very easy to care for. Polyester just is easy to care for, but because they're usually lined, the lining isn't always easy to care for. It's the lining that sometimes needs special care. Next in my sampler is a Charmeuse. When I was in the store asking for help, to find all of these different fabrics, I asked for charmeuse and the women pointed me to the silk section. And silk charmeuse is to die for, it's beautiful. But of course, I didn't want to buy silk charmeuse for my little sampler, so I said, is there polyester charmeuse? And she said, no, charmeuse is silk. And that's not really correct, right? Charmeuse is not the fiber, it's how the fabric is constructed. So that's just good for anyone to know, especially somebody working in a fabric store. It's good to know that, yes, charmeuse can be made out of silk or polyester. Those are the two most common, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was an acetate charmeuse around there somewhere as well. And so you can see that charmeuse is also lightweight and soft, but it has a luster to it. It's shiny because it is a satin weave and satin has long float yarns of a very shiny yarn. So it is shiny on one side, matte on the other side, but it's very fluid, it drapes beautifully. So that makes it perfect for beautiful silky blouses, evening wear and lingerie. Next in here is a crepe de chine. So again, this one's a polyester, but you can get silk crepe de chine. Where crepe comes into the name is that crepe is a highly twisted yarn. It's so twisted that it actually starts to kink up a bit. And that's what gives this the crepey texture. Georgette has kind of a similar idea where it's a high twist yarn. So that texture on the crepe de chine is why it is also matte. It's not shiny, but it still is drapey and flowy. So it's still beautiful for evening wear and blouses. It's opaque. It's a little bit easier to work with because it has a little bit more body, a little bit more stiffness. It has just a little bit more substance. It's not as slippery as a charmeuse or chiffon. Next in my sampler, we're moving more into some daytime kind of fabrics. I've got just two left and they're both cottons. And again, they're so commonly suggested. You're gonna have to iron but they have the perk of being a natural fiber. They breathe better and they're more comfortable because of that. Of the cottons that are often suggested for a daytime dress, quite often it's cotton voile that is suggested. And voile is just a plain weave, a simple cotton, but it's very lightweight. I wouldn't call it sheer, but if the sun was behind you, you would see through your dress for sure. It is made from a high twist yarn, not such a high twist that it kinks like crepe, but a high enough twist that it makes a smooth surface that's quite durable despite being lightweight and even a little bit translucent. Voile has a delicate and airy texture, making it perfect for casual summer clothes. It's often used to make very comfortable blouses and summer dresses. One more cotton. This is the last one in my sampler and that's cotton poplin. And poplin is also quite durable, comfortable. It's also a plain weave and so it's similar to voile except it's a little bit heavier. It's opaque, it's not sheer at all, and it has more of a crispness to it. So it's great for shirts or a more structured kind of dress or skirt, even a lightweight summer pant. So if your garment is more soft and flowy, probably the voile would be better. The poplin might just kind of stand away from the body and not have the flow or drape that you're looking for. But if you want something that's crisp and sharp, poplin's gonna be better. Voile is just not gonna be able to carry that kind of structure. 
Okay, so that's it for the seven most commonly suggested woven fabrics. And I really hope that that helps you the next time you are choosing fabric for a sewing project. And speaking of sewing projects, I'll be back with one next week and I hope to see you then. Thanks so much for joining me today. And until next time on Catherine Sews, you take care.